Hilary, you're in one of the most magnificent parks around in, in, the, in the county. Um, what do you think about the possibility of privatising it? Well, I'm very concerned about this, and I'm glad to say that the Labour group on Swindon Council is committed, should, should we win power, to retaining Lydiard Park and the, these wonderful grounds in public ownership. There's a lot of concern about what the council may be planning to do, and I think they really need to come clean with the people of Swindon about what it is they've got in mind so that people can express a view. Do you think that this is the, the first of, of sell-offs like the Steam Museum and, and other centres? Well, I know, I understand, I've, I've learned today that the council is looking at a number of things, and look, times are tight, I recognise that, but you can see the number of members of the public, their families, children who are here today enjoying it, and this is a community asset, it's been owned by the council for many, many years, it's an area which I've been told people make really, really good use of. Look, I think the most important job for a council is to listen. Sure, find ways in which can increase income generation, there's a conference centre out the back there, but... What people want is public assets like this, and this is a magnificent park, house and grounds. They want to keep it in public ownership for the benefit of the public for generations to come, and that's what we're supporting. Well, I think we've got to keep Lydiard in council ownership. It's a very clear statement that the Labour group has made and the parliamentary candidates that we want to see Lydiard here for the future generations to enjoy. It's one of the jewels in Swindon's crown uh, at full council. We voted to make sure that it stays in council ownership. And we're really worried that the uh, Conservative group have said that all the options are open. I don't know what that means. And have said that they are considering putting it into a, a trust. And we're not exactly sure what that means either. Uh, under a Labour council, it will stay in council ownership and it will be here for future generations. We can't be clearer than that. Uh, what Labour is doing is quite clear. We're guaranteeing that we'll keep Lydiard Park and the gardens and the house in council ownership because that's the only way we feel that it can be saved for the town. One minute we're told that some of these uh, lovely leisure facilities and parks are going to stay with the council and the next minute we find out they've been given away for a pound or just you know, give, uh, or just sold for, to a developer without the, the local people knowing or finding out about it. Um, I was really concerned when I was at Coat at the weekend weekend on Saturday morning to see the ground cleared away for the housing that the council has allowed to go there. I think that's really worrying. We're losing our crown jewels. We've got to protect Lydiard. So many people love to come here and have happy memories and they want their children and their grandchildren to have those happy memories. We're here today, it's the school holidays and the park is stuffed full of children having a great time running around doing what children should be doing.